It is time to uh, focus on movies. And while yeah. Hollywood is swimming in Oscar buzz, Dame Helen Mirren is slaying ghosts in theaters this weekend. Scott Cardi chatted with the Oscar winning actress and challenged some newbies to give their best Clint Eastwood impersonations. Yes, make my day, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the fascinating story of Sarah Winchester comes to life in Winchester, starring Helen Mirren and Jason Clark. Mirren is thrilling as the firearms heiress who's sure her mansion is haunted by ghosts of people killed by Winchester rifles. I talked with the stars via satellite. Were there any scares or pranks that you pulled behind the scenes on Jason? Oh, I'm not a prankster, actually. I'm, I, I'm not very good at pranks. Helen is very, very funny. <laughs> there was, you know, Helen was possessed and we're, you know, Helen, tell me if I go too big. And you tell me if I go, okay, good, good. We'll tell each other if we go too big or too. And then Helen went big and I went big. I thought, oh, Helen, that was extraordinary. <laughs> and she grabbed me. I didn't play Cleopatra three times for nothing. <laughs> you know what? Annette Benning stars as legendary actress Gloria Graham in Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. Based on Peter Turner's memoir about his romance with the femme fatale, you'll see Benning's character face a cancer diagnosis and the end of her life, while the two and more than a 30 year age difference connect through dancing and movies for a fling they'll never forget. And a look ahead at what's coming to theaters next week. Anna. <laughs> you may call me Mrs. Gray. The next shade of gray with 50 shades freed. Christian and Anna are married, but will it be for happily ever after? James Corden hops onto screens as the voice of Peter Rabbit. Also opening February 9th, the inspiring true story of three friends who stopped a terrorist attack on a train from Amsterdam. It's the 1517 to Paris. Clint Eastwood chose the real heroes to play themselves in the film. I talked with the guys in Beverly Hills and tested them out on their Clint Eastwood impersonations. Well, the thing about filming a movie with these guys is <laughs> it's not, horrible. they don't really know what they're doing. Like, That'll probably be the last night you ever have to say. <laughs> <laughs> so we're equally bad, basically. All right. Enjoy the movies. For The Daily Buzz, I'm Scott Carty.